I am gonna give you the best huh. Valentine's Day gift ever. Oh, I like the sound of that. Happy V-Day. <laughs> that red looks so good on you. You look better on the floor. Mm. <laughs> Bless you. What? I didn't sneeze. Thank you. Mom? Are you crazy? Hi, sweetie. Happy Valentine's Day. Wait, who is she? Who are you? This isn't Ryan. What's going on here? Mom, 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 mom. Keep it down. Wait, she's your mom? Oh my gosh, I'm like half naked. Hi, nice to meet you. Okay, this is the weirdest Valentine's Day I've ever experienced, and I've experienced a lot. Oh, shut it. I just found out that my daughter is cheating on her husband with you. Hmm? This is a mess. <gasps> Honey? I'm home. Happy Valentine's Day! Oh, you are in so much trouble. No, I am not, because you're not gonna say anything. Zip it. Okay, baby, you gotta go, because Ryan's home. Okay, I'll see you soon. Yeah, gross! Go! Jeez, lady! <sighs> Did you make any noise? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do you a favor. I don't have to. I didn't ask you to do that. Hi, baby. <gasps> Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Oh, my goodness, Mrs. Parker. If I had known you were coming, I would have gotten you some roses too. Here. Oh, you are so wonderful, and you are so sweet to my daughter. Well, you know, she means the world to me. So, what are you guys doing in the bedroom? Yeah, what are we doing in here? Um, uh, well, uh, baby. I, I was just talking to my mom about the surprise that I have for you for Valentine's Day. And I didn't want you to hear about it, so that's why we're in the room. A surprise? Oh, honey, I'm so excited. Huh? Um, Mrs. Parker, how about I get you a glass of wine? Yes, I need a glass of wine desperately. <laughs> my daughter's just full of surprises. You don't have to tell me. Crap! What am I gonna do? Cheers, Ryan. Happy Valentine's Day. And to you, too. Thank you. Mmm. That's some tasty wine. That is so good. Is that a cab sob? You know your wines. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to show you the surprise that I got for Jenna, okay? I upgraded her wedding ring. Are you ready for this? Oh my goodness! Oh, it's beautiful. It, it must have cost you a fortune. Yeah, I had to pick up a lot of extra shifts to buy this baby, but 100% worth it. Your daughter deserves everything in the world and more. How did she ever find you? Babe! Um, I need to steal my mom away for a minute. <laughs> We need to go get ready for the surprise that I have for you. Hey. Oh, okay, so we'll be back. Love you. Yeah, I love you too, honey. Okay, go. <clears throat> Don't worry, Ryan. We'll be right back. Can't wait for my surprise! What are you doing? I am so disappointed. Mom. You invaded my privacy, you come to my house with no notice, and you hide in my room while I'm having an intimate moment with Mark. Do you even hear yourself? You are married to an amazing guy who is loving and kind. And how could you do this? Because I don't love him. We got married when I was young and I needed financial security and someone to take care of me, but now that I'm older, I know what I want and it's not him. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. This is worse than I thought. If you didn't love him, why didn't you let him go and leave this marriage? Like, you were holding on to him for financial benefits while you got benefits from Mark? Seriously, this is why you were not even supposed to be here. I had everything under control. I was gonna tell him eventually. Ugh. Listen, whatever you do, do not tell him, okay? I don't even understand what you're saying right now. You don't even sound like my daughter. My daughter would not do this. Whatever. This is my life and not yours. So let's just go before he suspects something. <sighs> it's 
Surprise, sweetheart. <gasps> You have made me the happiest man in the world. So I wanted to do something special for you this Valentine's Day. Surprise. Oh my gosh, Ryan, is that a new ring? It is. I worked extra hard to be able to afford the best for the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so big and beautiful and shiny. I love it. I love you. <laughs> and if I had known, Mrs. Parker, that you were going to be here, I would have gotten you something, too. But I did make us a nice meal. Oh, Ryan, that is so sweet. I can hardly wait to try your food. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, this ring is humongous. Imagine how much I can sell it for and run away with Mark and get my happily ever after. It's perfect! Wow, it smells so good, doesn't it, Jenna? Uh, yep, so yummy. You know, your first ring is so beautiful. Do you really want to keep this ring? Yes, Mom, of course I want to keep it. It's beautiful and it's a gift from Rye. Yeah, I worked so hard for it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really deserve it. What? Mm -hmm. Nothing. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go get your surprise, Rye. Great! More surprises. <laughs> that marks two today. Mom! <laughs> Toodles. Oh, God. Where is he? Here, babe. Got your text. Are you sure this is a good idea? I don't know, but it's the only thing I could think of. Plus, imagine how good he's gonna treat me when he knows that I'm pregnant. And all the benefits that I could share with you. Mm. I love how selfish you are for us. Whoa, that's a huge ring. I know, I know. And I can sell it and we can use the money to run away and I can have your love, the love that I deserve. Trust me, if you get us that money, I'm gonna give you a lot more than love. Okay, I gotta go, okay? See you soon. I love you. I know. I know this makes me a terrible person, but I have to do this for Mark and I. Listen, uh, I, need, I need to tell you something and um, I just can't. With everything you did today for Jenna, I, I can't. What is it, Mrs. Parker? Is everything okay? No, it's not okay. Mrs. Parker, what is it? Surprise, baby! Happy Valentine's Day. Oh. Thank you, honey. It's perfect. It's everything. Really? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I know, isn't it amazing? Oh my gosh, this is the best news ever. Oh my gosh. I am so happy. Best Valentine's Day ever. Oh my gosh, I love you. <clears throat> oh, um. Mrs. Parker, what were you saying? Uh, yeah, Mom, what were you saying? Oh, uh, nothing. So, Mom, you're going home today, right? She can stay with us. We have plenty of room. Uh, yeah, but she's been hanging out with me all day, and she's probably tired. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to head out. Uh, my <clears throat> throat is feeling scratchy. <laughs> Aw, bummer. Well... I love you. Thanks for visiting. And Mrs. Parker, you know that if there's ever anything that we can do for you, just let me know. Honey, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I love you both. <laughs> Bye. I was 
weird, right? She left so abruptly, and you know, before you came back to the table, she was gonna tell me something. It, it sounded like something was bothering her. Well, um, you know, she's gone now, and I'm sure she was just tired, as am I. But you know, babe, this first trimester is gonna be brutal. So I'm gonna need a lot of spoiling. Well, that's what I'm here for, baby. To spoil you every step of the way. Anything you want, anything you need, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. And so is my gold card. Oh. And if you ever need any cash, you know where we keep it. I do. Thank you, baby. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Everything is going perfectly. I just need a little more money before I can run away from you forever, Ryan. How can my daughter do this? I didn't raise her to be like this. I need to find a way to tell Ryan. He can't be part of her game. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, little one. I love you. And I love you too. Good night, baby. Am I a bad person? I'm just trying to do what's best for me. I'm sure Ryan will be okay. I think. I have to keep telling myself that I'm doing this all for my future with Mark. But why do I feel so bad now? Ryan is going above and beyond for me. He always has. I'm gonna break his heart when he finds out that I'm not pregnant, nor do I love him, and I'm doing all this so I can run away and be happy with Mark. I am selfish, and maybe I'm not the woman my mom raised me to be. But I am doing this all for love. The love that Mark and I have is passionate and young, and the love that Ryan and I have is boring and simple. All I know is I can't do this for much longer. I have to leave soon before I feel too guilty. Today is the day. It's my only chance. I have to leave. I'm gonna be a dad. 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 <sighs> I love you so much, Jenna. And our little bun in your oven, too. <sighs> Life just couldn't be more perfect right now. she wants to talk to me about. Ryan, thank you for coming. Come on in. So, uh, what is it, Mrs. Parker? Is everything okay? <sighs> this is gonna sound crazy. I really wish I wasn't the one who had to tell you this. But you have to know. On Valentine's Day, I wanted to surprise both of you with a visit. So I, I hid in your room and I witnessed something so awful. That red looks so good on you. This isn't Ryan. What is going on here? I was in shock and so disappointed in her. But she told me to not tell anyone. At that time, it made me sick holding on to such a secret. When all you did was love her for all these years. I tried to talk to her about the situation. My daughter would not do this. This is my life and not yours. And that's when I knew I had to tell you. Before it went on for too long. She used you for the past two years. She's been cheating on you. She doesn't love you, Ryan. She only married you for your financial security. And at this point... I'm sure that the pregnancy was all a lie, too. Listen, I don't know what her plan is, Ryan, but I know it's not good. And I know 
that you had to know the truth. You don't deserve any of this. You have to get out of this marriage. I am so sorry. I, I have to go. I have to leave right now. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. I know it was difficult. <laughs> Jenna? Jenna! I'm sorry, Ryan. Your love was as pure as it could be, but it wasn't for me. I never loved you. I've been having an affair for the past few months, and those months meant more to me than being married to you for two years. My plan has come to an end, and you will never see me again. I finally got to run away with Mark and have my happily ever after. I sold your ring you gave me and took all the cash in the drawer so Mark and I could have a future together. I will never be able to apologize for what I did because no amount of apology can make up for how I hurt you. Take care, Ryan. I hope you can move on from all the pain I caused you. <laughs> I hate you, Jenna! I hope you get the karma you deserve. Because karma spares no one, Jenna. It's coming for you. Where's Mark? Where is he? Over here. <laughs> <laughs> One moment. Hello? Mark, where are you? I'm at the bus stop. Did you forget about our plan? Babe, who is that? Put the phone down. <laughs> who is that? Is that another girl? Mark! Listen, Jenna, I did not think we were that serious, okay? Besides, what goes around comes around. I was just having fun with you. And when I realized how desperate you were for my love, well, I used it to my advantage. And how I'm rich. All that money you gave me is locked away, safe in my account. And I never plan on seeing you again. What? No, 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 no. Please, please don't do this to me, please. I, I thought you loved me. Yeah. I wrote higher? my marriage for you, Mark. Yeah. I oh, wrote my good. entire there's nothing left for me anymore. Well, sucks to suck. It sounds like a personal problem. Hurry up, babe. I'm not gonna wait all day. Here, let me help you hang up. Toodles Jenny, or whatever your name is. Yeah, I think her name was Jenna, but I already forgot. <laughs> Here. <laughs> oh. My life is over. I ruined everything good in my life for my own selfish reasons. For someone who never cared about me. <laughs> I messed up and there is nothing I can do to fix this. <sighs> I'm all alone. Oh, Mom. Jenna. I really messed up, Mom. I ruined everything. And I know that I was wrong and you were right. I wasn't being the girl that you raised me to be. And now I have to face up to these consequences, but just please don't hate me. Oh, Jenna, I don't uh, hate you. I'm disappointed in your actions. I'm so disappointed because you're going to have to learn this life lesson. I know, I know. And I just feel like the worst person in the world. I thought that Mark loved me, and I, I was just chasing a love that I already had. Ryan loved me unconditionally. Yeah, he did. And it's going to hurt. But you are gonna heal. And hopefully Ryan's gonna heal too. And I love you. So come on in. Let's make some tea. Thanks, Mom. I love you. Happy Valentine's to me. Happy... There's no way. I'm sorry, Ryan. It's 
the money from the ring. And the money she took from the drawer. Can't believe she paid me back. Oh, I am so... Jenna? Uh, Ryan. How have you been? Uh, all right. Um... Can I... Can I ask you something? Yeah, anything. Was it me? No. It was never you. I was romanticizing a type of love that doesn't even exist. What you had for me was real love. Not what I was searching for with Mark. And I found that out the hard way. You know, for the past year, I've, I've been trying to move forward with my life. And uh, I think I needed to hear that. I needed to know that it wasn't my fault, that I will be able to be loved again. You're gonna find that, Ryan. If anyone deserves that, it's you. Thank you for giving me this closure. It's funny how life works, huh? We bump into each other a, a year later on Valentine's Day. <laughs> I guess everything happens for a reason, though, huh? Yeah, I guess so. You take care, okay? You too, Jenna. And happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> happy Valentine's Day, Ryan. I hope you find the love that you deserve. Because if I know what love feels like, the only reason is because of you. <laughs>